Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, diamonds are a girl's best friend, so how about laying your hands on a mine? Aaron Banks, the co-founder of the Leave.EU campaign, is selling one off. The Newlands mine in South Africa was once marketed as being able to produce about £5 million a year in precious stones. But it's now up for sale on Facebook for a fraction of the price. Here's Ed Halker. In South Africa's Northern Cape sits an old diamond mine. One colourful owner, Aaron Fraser Banks. The millionaire made Britain's biggest ever political donation to get us out of Europe and his African diamond interests, he says, are the most fun he's ever had in business. Yeah, we own seven mines there, not all of them, but there's quite a cluster. And, What's that uh, place? Quite a lot. <laughs> but then this advert appeared on Facebook. For sale, it says, Newlands Diamond, 400 hectares on the Hearts River, yields quality diamonds, price on request, but in the corner it gives another figure, just one South African rand, about five pence. It sounded like the deal of the century, so we got on the phone. I'm inquiring about uh, buying the Newlands mine, which I saw for sale on Facebook. Is it for sale? Sadly, the true price of the mine isn't one, but ten million rand, half a million pounds, and the broker didn't want to talk. You'll, um, you'll disclose no more inf info unless I sign a non-disclosure with you. Here's what's already been disclosed. Last year, Aaron Banks told us his diamond mining empire had been valued at £70 million, with 2.5 million carats in the ground. And in 2014, investors were told that the Newlands mine alone was able to generate gems worth £5 million a year. But it's now selling on Facebook for just half a million, with a history of generating more dirt than diamonds. Last year, Channel 4 News travelled to South Africa to sift through Mr Banks' cluster of diamond mines. They appeared to be struggling. No production at no all? No production at all. And Mr Banks tells us the Newlands mine he's now selling was placed in care and maintenance 12 months ago. What we did find, a dirty war between Banks and his former diamond business partner, Chris Kimber. In Kimberley, Court papers filed by Mr Kimber claimed the mines were struggling to meet costs and that Mr Banks had sought investment from Russia. Mr Banks has consistently denied any Russian involvement in his business, but Mr Kimber also alleged that money Mr Banks had sought from mine investors in 2014 had been used to fund his Brexit campaign instead. Banks denied it and said he never proceeded with fundraising for the mines. This March, we went back and found evidence showing Mr. Banks and his South African associates offered travel and business opportunities to K. D. Galawe, a major general in the Hawks, South Africa's elite police. And they also urged him to open a criminal investigation into Mr. Kimber. We spoke to a leading anti-corruption campaigner. Without doubt, it is an act of corruption, absolutely. This person who is being investigated is the former business partner of Aaron Banks with whom they've fallen out. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's, uh... Aaron Banks denied having had any business dealings with the police chief. He told us the story was a smear and insists the Hawks are not investigating him. In 2018, after Banks had spent millions campaigning for Brexit, he was asked directly about the source of his wealth. Insurance, property, diamonds, shares, bonds, developments, bit of that. Bit of this. However, the question is still being asked. Now, Aaron Banks has been under investigation by the National Crime Agency for suspected electoral law offences. And tonight they confirmed to this programme that their investigation into the source of the money he used to pay for Brexit is still live. We asked Aaron Banks why he's selling the Newlands mine in South Africa. We also asked if it was related to the National Crime Agency investigation. He denies any wrongdoing in relation to that investigation and told us he's continuing diamond operations at his Blaubosch mine. Ed Hauker trying and failing to get his hands on a diamond mine.